Hi, my name is Ilsia. I'm from Kazakhstan and I'm majoring in Global Media and Communication Arts. It's my second year, second semester, and my last semester I spent as an exchange student in Budapest, in the capital of Hungary. So I'm gonna talk about the school I went in, also my daily life, activities I had, and about my traveling tip. Let's get started with the university. So I went to Budapest Business School University of Applied Sciences, and uh, I went to one of the buildings, to the international management. And overall, there are three main buildings, like campuses. The building, it's actually a picture of the Faculty of Tourism and Commerce. I think most people would know about uh, Budapest Business University from this one. Actually, as a media student, many people would think that's a weird choice, but I was also interested in uh, business studies and marketing, so I, I thought that it can be a great experience. This picture is actually a place where we could take some uh, rests and have some activities with our friends, uh, like have some leisure time, uh, because uh, there are not many places uh, like this uh, near the campus, but you can easily do it inside the building. Uh, also, it was pretty uh, cold sometimes, so most people would end there. And the second one uh, is actually uh, a picture of our hall. I think it was uh, my favorite place in the university because I could also take some rest there. And it was just one of the most beautiful places in the campus. So in the first picture, um, there is a group of my friends I had in the uh, community center. There you can uh, have meetings about your uh, daily life, about the struggles you have in the uh, new country. Uh, there are many different people. Uh, for example, here there are mostly Kazakh uh, students that are also living uh, and working here. In the second picture, it was another international dinner we had. Uh, it is mostly uh, the food of uh, Kazakhstan and other nearby countries. Here's the lecture we had, and in that lecture we talked about the son of Olivia Rodrigo in terms of communication. Uh, this one, I think, was about jealousy, and we just talked about this concept and how it's related to verbal and nonverbal communication. Um, I think that was surprising to me because in Korea we have like lessons with examples of K-pop. In Europe you can find some and there will be about uh, pop songs like all over the world, which was very funny, but at the same time, uh, very educational. I actually didn't live in the dorms uh, while being an exchange student, uh, because if you want to live in the dorms, you need to be very early to apply for it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't, and I decided to stay outside. I had a shared apartment uh, with uh, four other girls who had several bathrooms and uh, a shared kitchen. And this is my room that I lived in. The Budapest Business University organized many cultural events and this one uh, was more about the celebration of Halloween. Uh, so we had a pumpkin carve fest which was uh, quite unusual because I never carved a pumpkin before uh, to be honest and uh, other teammates I had, uh, other uh, friends, they didn't really know how to do that too so it was <laughs> quite uh, interesting but also very unusual kind of experience. The second picture actually uh, it was also one of the uh, celebration days we had in the university. It was a welcome day for international students and uh, here I met uh, a lot of uh, different people with various backgrounds. Here we actually were like spies so there were people with uh, red bandanas and they were the ones that we needed to cut with the whistles and it was very funny, but also I think it was one of the best activities uh, we had at that day. And uh, just to know all the students that are also coming there um, and to get a new experience, that was very nice. During my exchange, I traveled to about eight countries. I went to uh, Austria first. I think it's the easiest country to go to from Budapest because uh, going to the capital of Austria, Vienna, is only three hours by bus. And I think it was around 10 euros, so it's one of the cheapest ways to start traveling uh, from Hungary. Thank you guys for watching. Hoping that uh, my speech was 
kind of useful to you and I would absolutely recommend you to go on exchange because you will find very interesting uh, people, you will have um, interest and experience too. But at the same time, you can get out of your comfort zone and uh, also to see beautiful places out there. Personal, Vizlat.